going on everybody on YouTube, Max Rock here with a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing a speed test between the Moto G6 Play and the Blue Vivo One Plus. So to get things started here, we can talk about the internal specs of each device. I believe in the uh, in the Moto G6 Play here, we got the Snapdragon 425. It could be the 427, but nonetheless, uh, it's clocked at 1.4 GHz. It's a quad-core processor, has the Adreno 308 in it. It is currently running uh, Android 8.0 Oreo. Uh, you get 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. With the Blue Vivo One Plus here, you have a MediaTek 6739. It's a quad-core processor clocked at 1.27 GHz. Uh, the GPU is the PowerVR Rogue GE8100, whatever that is. <laughs> uh, 2 gigs of RAM as well, 16 gigs of internal storage, and it's currently running Android 7.1.1. To get things started here, I want to talk about the Atutu benchmarks and the Geekbench scores. Now, with the Atutu benchmark scores on each device, um, Eh, the G6 Play is a little bit faster. You can see you got a 42,558 and the Vivo has a 39,079 there. Excuse me. I almost said 39,079. <laughs> That's not how you say that. <laughs> but uh, you can see the Moto G6 there is a little bit faster when it comes to the Atutu benchmark scores. But with Geekbench, I had trouble with uh, running that test on the Blue Vivo One Plus here for some particular reason. Uh, you can see when I run CPU or GPU, I GPU, it run the CPU benchmark. It says it encountered an error, and I always get that on this phone here. But I can show you guys on the G6 Play that I got a single core score of 649 and a multi core score of 1822. Now, just based on numbers alone, the Vivo One Plus should be a little bit slower than that, but you know, let's go ahead and test that out. First app we're going to open up here uh, the Play Store. So let's get that started. Three, two, one. That goes to, I'm not sure who that goes to. Let me know in the comments. All right, the next app we're gonna open up here is YouTube. So three, two, one. And that goes to the Moto G6 Play. Next app we're gonna open up is Amazon. So three, two, one. All right, that goes to the G6 Play as well. The next app we're gonna open up is Best Buy. So three, two, one. All right, and that goes to the G6 Play again. We're gonna do title next, so three, two, one. That goes to the G6 Play there. Let's go ahead and do some social media apps now. So let's go ahead and open up Facebook. So three, two, one. Oh, I'm gonna get that to the Vivo One Plus there. They got a, they got a W. It was almost a knockout, so Instagram is going to be next. Three, two, one. I'm going to let this load, see which one refreshes faster. Okay, that was pretty much a tie, if you ask me. Uh, next app we're going to open up is Twitter. So, three, two, one. And all applications are updated. They're up to date here. The latest versions that the uh, developers released. So. Yep, and that goes to the Moto G6 Play there. Next app we're going to open up here is SoundCloud. So three, two, one. That goes to the Moto G6 Play there. Next app we're going to open up here is Google Plus. So three, two, one. That goes to the G6 Play there. Do Reddit. So three, two, one. And I think that goes to the Vivo there. I actually took that one. The next app we're gonna open up here is Twitch. So three, two, one. And that goes to the G6 Play there. So the G6 Play clean house here. The Blue Vivo One Plus got two Ws. That's why I couldn't give it a uh, knockout here. But the next part of the test is gonna be the RAM management test here. And I'm sorry that this video maybe seem a little too long here, but I just wanted to give it a fair shot because both processors are pretty pretty similar one is a little bit faster like clocked a little bit higher but eh, you can see evident that the g6 is a little bit faster there so let me go ahead and go into the uh, multitasking here and go to the first app see which device is able to hold the applications better so play store oh wasn't in it there so that was held by neither one of them youtube both of them had to reload that Let's go to Amazon. They both had to reload Amazon as well. 
Best Buy has to be reloaded by both of them. Title has to be reloaded by both of them. Facebook was held by both. Instagram, they both have to reload. Twitter, held by the G6 actually. SoundCloud, held by the G6. Google Plus, they both had to reload that. Reddit, G6 held it. Switch. Yeah, G6 code. So the overall conclusion, I'll say the G6 play, yes, it has one. It opens up apps a little faster. It has a little bit better RAM management as well. When it comes to the Louisville OnePlus, it is a big screen, so it does give you a lot of real estate as far as like consuming your media. So that's a positive there, but this video wasn't about that. It was about which phone was faster, and that is the G6 Play. So if you guys want to see anything in the future here with the Blue Vivo One Plus, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to like the video if you haven't liked it already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And if you do decide to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so that any time a video is posted in the future, you'll be notified of it immediately. But until then, my name is Max and Rock. Thank you, of course, for watching the video, and you have a good day. Deuces.